Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode we managed to finally track down the last sigil that we needed for the Keeper of Sevens in the Blue Kingdom. Also, almost said Eleutheria then, that would have been embarrassing. Um, so I think we're going to head back to the Blue Kingdom. But in order to do that we need to go back to London, we need to pick up some stuff. So we can go back to the Reach. Uh, didn't I, did I pick up something like a... Uh, yeah, munitions for the Barbazon. So let's do that first before I forget. Not too far away from where we are right now. But let's undock. We're still keeping our eye open for guests. Uh, I'll do very well on finding guests. It's amazing how when I'm not looking for them, they're bloody everywhere. When I'm looking for them, they're nowhere to be found. I've got to give one of my, uh, my obligatory warnings today that I'm feeling a bit... Bleh. I don't know. Do you know when you just wake up with a headache? I don't know what's going on. Uh, I just woke up with a headache and I just feel a bit horrible. But, ah, uh, who knows? The caffeine will kick in in a minute and I'm sure I'll feel fine at that point. Uh-oh. Oh, God. A cantankery. Getting cantankerous. Got him. What can we do here? Let's get on close. Should we lose some terror? Because our terror is quite high. Let's lose some terror here. Uh, Terra's fallen. Terra's looking a little bit high, isn't it? I don't know why it's so high. I guess I've been... I, oh, I know why. I went through the bloody sea, didn't I? At Warbly Juxtamere, and it kind of ramped it in all the wrong directions. I had a lovely email uh, the other day saying that I, my, my PlayStation 5 order was being delayed. I'm a little bit... a little bit upset. A little bit upset. And then I got another email this morning saying that my Assassin's Creed order has been delayed. I was like, what? What is going on? Am I just not allowed to have anything on time anymore? I know the world's falling apart again, I guess. I mean, uh, the United Kingdom... It, oh, I don't even know what's going on. We're back in lockdown again. Uh, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> kind of just hoping it all blows over. I imagine like a lot of people. But, you know, could be worse. I suppose. Could just be down here. But I'm kind of hoping that Assassin's Creed arrives anyway. I got one of those emails from Amazon that was just like, We haven't managed to dispatch your order on time. Could you, um... We will send you an email in the next few days saying when it's been dispatched. I was like, yeah, but it's like a pre-order for today. And I kind of had a plan to, to you know, get on Twitch and stream it a little bit so I could show it off. Kind of defeats the point if you don't get it on launch day. Not that it really matters because uh, a lot of streams and stuff it already. The wonders of early access, I suppose. What's this? A windswept habitation. The Enterprise of London does not rest. Its skies are littered with abandoned construction. Let's... Oh, do we need crew? Not really. Let's rest and recover. I think that's a terror reduction. It is. The factory is sooty from an old fire that once swept through it. It still smells damply of smoke. Some of its floors are flooded with stagnant puddles. Others piled with boxes of unidentifiable rusting components. You find a dry, brick-pillared chamber and settle in. A stoker breaks out her harmonica. How oh, amazing. Harmonica. Instrument I've... Damn it. Instrument I've always found. Overly fascinating, but never once tried to learn how to play. I had a tin flute when I was growing up. But uh, that, that's about it, really. Also played the recorder, obviously. I mean, in the United Kingdom there, you... Well, everyone gets taught how to play the recorder. Like when you're in primary school. It's something... I've, it's, it's always confused me slightly. It's like, yeah, kids, you're all going to learn to play the recorder. It can be... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Found one of you, last... Don't need another one. Uh, it, it's all very weird, isn't it? It's like, why would you train an entire generation on how to play the recorder? But then, it kind of gave the recorder a bad reputation as an instrument. Because it's like, oh, that's what kids play. But it's like, no. No, it can be a really nice instrument. If it's played by, like, a, a, a master musician, it sounds wonderful. It's just the fact that it sounds awful when you're, like, eight years old and have absolutely no idea how to play the damn thing. <laughs> but no, I, uh, I think I still have a, my recorder somewhere. 
to have a huge musician plan. I know Mr. Clumsy, friend of the channel, can play the harmonica. He breaks it out every now and again when we're in a call. Well, we'll just be playing a game or something, and he'll die, and then he'll naturally get out the harmonica and start playing a sad tune. Very atmospheric. <laughs> Should have gotten to do it in the Sea of Thieves streams back in the day. Would have been great. Right, here we are. A bit between. Don't crash. Oh, my God. My brain. My reflexes have slowed to the point of sloth. Uh, let's go to the shops. The bazaar. Sell. All of the, uh, the guns. Gain one savage secret. Ooh. There are murmurs of discontent among the workers. But only that. Uh, should we do last day while we're here as well? Actually, I meant to press G. I pressed the wrong button. We'll do last day while we're here. Let's see if we can help a work worlder with their paperwork. 64% chance. Hey, we succeeded. The overseer is most displeased when you turn up with one of her workers. Forms all correctly filed and, and stamped. They are forced to release the prisoner on schedule. Your only reward is a smile from the prisoner and a scowl from the overseer. It is enough. And it lowered our terror. Okay, so do I... Was I if I have... I don't. I was say, if I have... Word I'm looking for, Barrels of Unseasoned Hours. I could leave right now, because it's right there. I do not, sadly. So we're going to have to go back to London anyway, but at least we'll get the terror reduction. And we'll see if there's anything interesting there, just in case there's some something to make money, because I still need vast quantities of, of sovereigns. And who doesn't like money? I do know there are ways where I can kind of cheese it and make loads of money quite quickly, but that's no fun. Uh, no, it'll pass. Or it won't. <laughs> Whoops, you've gained five terror and one tail of terror. Damn and blast. Damn and blast. Yeah, so we should be straight through here. There's, isn't there a big... Yeah, there is. There's a big uh, well here. Uh-oh, pushed, being pushed, being pushed, being pushed. Fine, let's not hit the rock. I like my ship the way it is. Don't need any extra windows. Especially not explosively obtained windows. Still no guests. Hmm. Hmm. I have to do some research into this. Where is the most common places to find a guest in sunless skies? And even then, the chances of me getting a captivating treasure. I think there are some... Either floating parliament, maybe? Or oh, it's just random. Maybe they just spawn in wherever. Because that would make a lot of sense. Oh, there's one of the golden dreadnoughts. I love those ships. They're so cool. The glorious dreadnought. I want one. How much money do you reckon you got to pay to get one of those things? I imagine the prestige alone is... Uh, well, a high requirement. I wonder. I think impersonating a, a police officer is still frowned upon, even in the Sunless Skies universe. It have its perks, though. From a purely non-criminal aspect, obviously. Let's. Yeah. Okay. We we got the terror reduction. Uh, let's have a quick look at the bazaar. An astronomical opportunity. Hours for the Royal Society. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's grab some hours. Yeah, we have some. We need two. What else do we need to go to? Eleutheria. Blah, blah, blah. Not Eleutheria. Bloody Blue Kingdom. I think it's just artifacts, which we have tons of. Um. Okay. Buy some fuel so we don't run out. Buy some supplies. Buy more supplies than we need. There we go. I'll keep us going for a while. Okay, let's head off into the Reach. Once more, ignore the fact that I just scraped the ship against the station. 
My spatial awareness is at approximately minus 50 compared to its normal capacity, which is admittedly already rather low. I don't know what it is about this game, or any game for that fact, I just can't drive. That's not strictly true. I can drive in games that are all about driving, so like Forza and things like that. But games like this, not so much. How else am I going to get my reputation of the worst driver on the internet? Ugh. I'm still kind of like, I keep looking at my phone hoping there's going to be a pop-up just saying, Your order has been dispatched. It would be very nice. I am quite excited about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I mean, one, it's set in England. I mean, admittedly, you're kind of on the wrong side, but, um, you know, it's kind of Vikings versus English, I think. Or Anglo Saxons. I think. Who are they? Hang on, who were they back then? I don't know when it's set. I'll just say English to keep it simple, but you get the idea. And uh, I'm really interested to see where the story goes. I'm a little upset that I'm not going to be able to play it on the PlayStation 5 a little bit sooner, though. The only advantage is that I bought it on the PS4, uh, the disced version, so when I do get the PlayStation 5, I can put the disc in and it should, I say should, update the PS5 version. And apparently Ubisoft, you can transfer saves from the PS4 to the PS5, even though normally you can't between normal PS4 games and PS5 versions of the same game. I hope, otherwise I'm going to get really upset when I do eventually get my PlayStation 5 in like December because of how long it's been delayed. And I can't continue where I left off, let's say. The only, the only major problem I see is that if I get it super late, why am I here? Wrong one. Um, I won't be able to stream it, which is not the end of the world I suppose. I'm, I was kind of worried people weren't, weren't going to really want to see it anyway. On the grounds that... spoilers. A lot of people want to play those games for themselves. But, you know, it could be fun. I won't hold my breath, though. Probably turn up at, like, 10 o'clock tomorrow or something. Just to annoy me. But on the plus side, I could just... I've, I've already got a stream plan for tomorrow, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't normally stream on today, so... No problems whatsoever. At this point, I'm just rambling. I do apologize. I've got to keep myself monologuing so my brain doesn't die. Okay, to the reach. Let's go. Bring yourself to customs. Nothing illegal here. One day there will be, but not right now. Clean sweep. Your engine. And then we will travel to the reach in second class. Oh, we gained five terror. Oh dear. curious what happens when we go back with all the sigils. I can't remember if last time I did this I found all the sigils or not. And here we are. The question is, do we go in Winchester? We may as well. It's right next to the Blue Kingdom Gate, isn't it? Like, do we dock there or do we just go straight? We might as well go straight. Gain nothing by not. Plus, we can get a little bit of terror reduction at my favorite statue in the game, the Rat. Still, eyes open for guests. Never know. Seems unlikely that they'd be here in the middle of civilization with, you know, quote marks. But, hmm, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Please don't attack me. Every time I loot this one, Dreadnoughts try and kill me. Every single time. Again! Wait, guest! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! We got gotcha. you! Yeah, missed. Right. Play it safe. Be careful. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we're fine. Hey, Dreadnought, come help me. Ow. Son of a. So hard to take these guys down. Ow. 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 
Oh, bloody hell. I dodged into that one. Ow. That was a calculated decision. It was an awful decision, but it was calculated. Here we go. The Dreadnought rocks like an empty cradle. It had been colonized by the guests, a wormy, lonely species that craves the warmth of inhabited places. But one guest calls others. Soon, every inch of the engine was filled with slug-like worms, and the crew were crushed. Let's search the wreckage for valuables. Be wary, watch for anything that wriggles. You passed the roll. Yeah, we got another captivating treasure. Well, that was lucky. The guests occupied the wreck as comprehensively as a snail does its shell. The crew have long since been ground to paste. But what is this? Preserved beneath the floor of the captain's cabin. A safe. You drag it free. Scrub. Of. Could that be off? Oh, wow, I haven't come across a typo in a long time. Scrub off the worst of the guest ooze and carry it back to your engine. Something thumps enticingly inside. Yeah, I took a load of damage, but it was worth it. We got our second captivating treasure. That's awesome. Now I just need to become the hero of the new state line, street line, right? No idea how to do that. That's... I guess that's one of the options we have. I think there are, there are other options. Thanks for the help, Dreadnought. <sighs> Bloody police officers. Why are you guys even in the sky? That's all I'm going to say. Too busy getting worried about people smuggling bloody... Books. Where's old rat? There he is. Here he is. He's coming up now. So where is he? Around here somewhere. I know he is. I'm gonna park myself next to him a little bit. Oh, game didn't like that. Well, that wasn't a very big error reduction. I feel cheated. I crashed into it in uh, in protest. <laughs> Whoops! Bang! Oh dear! Never mind. Grim foreboding, what will become of you? Well, that's not nice. A homestead. Right, supplies for bronze wood. How many supplies is it? Yeah, okay, that's, that's a good trade. I'll take that trade. Bronze wood, we still need bronze wood to fix the, uh, the relay. Oh god, I forgot about that. I need to build the relay. Between Al uh, Albion and Eleutheria. Oh damn, that's going to be a pain. I could take it. That could take a few episodes. Right, we got this. It'll be fine. Dolls. Always useful. That's Port Avon. Don't need to go up to Port Avon. We need to go to Winchester. I don't work out what that noise was. It was it fire or rain? I think it's rain. <laughs> I think it's always there in the background, but my brain normally tunes it out. Yeah, you know, the clamor of New Winchester can be heard on the wind. That means we're nice and close. Wait, what's that down there? There's a there's a diamond. I like diamonds. Many. Many. Aha! It's just cargo. Ah. Wow, good shots. 10 out of 10. Best marksman in the West. Oh. No, 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 no. Ow. Oh, 
Oh dear. <sighs> that was close. I'm going to repair my ship. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> uh, we don't need crew. Let's gain some random treasures. This dressingly odoured barrel, another uncanny specimen. Never say no. They come in handy in the strangest of places. But yeah, when we get to New Winchester, I'm going to repair the, the ship. Taking a little bit of a beating. None the good way. <laughs> oh. Avoid combat today. Okay, down here. I feel like I'm coming at New Winchester in a weird way. I don't know why. Oh no, there's Victory Hall. I should probably go to Victory Hall at some point. I feel like I haven't been there for a very long time. Huh. Dock here, we're going to need more fuel. Uh, another upheaval has shaken New Winchester. The Tacketees, having fought their way back from near defeat at the hand of the Winwood Company, have returned. Hobnail boots tread the streets again, and talk of independence is heard once more in the tea and gin houses. Their colonial assembly has returned to Victory Hall, repaired the shattered windows, and resumed arguing exactly where they left off. Your acquaintance are prepared to furnish you with an account of the events. As the Tacketees approached New Winchester, the Winwood Company made a last-minute attempt to destroy Victory Hall, but a band of Tackety sympathisers occupied and defended the hall until the relief forces could secure it. Now both sides of the conflict must share the port again, and the balance of power in the Reach has returned to its traditional state of simmering stalemate. So this change in balance of power will affect encounters, discoveries, bargains, and prospects in the Reach. For example, the renewed conflict mean wrecks are more common, and unmined skyrocks less so. Wait, I, I didn't want partially repaired, I wanted fully repaired. Yeah. Back on top. Let's go to the bank. Drop off everything we don't need. Let's go to the shops to buy some fuel. That'll be enough, right? Will it? Will it? Will it? Let's be a little bit overcautious here. Because we all know I like to be overly cautious. Uh, right, so now we go to the Blue Kingdom, which is just up here. I don't think it'll have moved, eh? You never know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anything nasty ever spawns up here? I severely doubt it. Like, in fact, I don't think I've ever had any encounters here. I wonder if that's something to do with the fact that this is the tutorial area. Well, the new tutorial area. I remember back in the old days where it was just a bunch of pop-ups on the screen saying, this is how you do this. God, that was so long ago now. Now you just get this little assault course. This is how you turn around corners. Aha! That's dark. Yeah. Customs. Who doesn't love going through customs? Oh, wait. Never mind. I could just go. Travel to the Blue Kingdom, first class. The official will not touch the artifact himself. Horrible thing. He presses a button. We'll just pretend that's the glass hand. We just, like, slammed it on the desk. Uh, let's go. And hopefully it didn't shatter. I should say, with the glass hand, probably not the best thing to do, slamming with...
Right, so, we need to go to the Forge of Souls. It's, now, this place terrifies me, as you are all fully aware. The Blue Kingdom terrifies me, because I say it every time I come here. Uh, we need to be careful. Very careful. We don't run out of food. I don't plan on sticking around unless it tells me to. Even the music here is spooky. I don't know why, but that just reminded me that I didn't do a Halloween special this year. Whoops! I had plans, I didn't do any of them. It's not great. No, oh well. I'll just have to make it a really good one. There are a few things that I need to put up on um, on YouTube that I streamed, like Close to the Sun. Uh, like a linear friend, foe, friend, friend, friend. Uh, a linear, I would say puzzle game, but it's more of a story game with a few puzzles. It was a really fun playthrough. I did the whole thing in one stream. It's not very long. But I need to edit all the footage out and get rid of all the silly uh, stops and things. Plus, I don't know if I just release one episode a day or if I do one, one day a week or something. Maybe like on a Friday. I don't know. Definitely worth watching, though. It's all, well, worth playing, I suppose, if you haven't played it. It was free on Epic at one point. Oh, that was... That was painless. Thank God there was a Logos, though. And a nice Logos at that. Okay, quarter dust. Into the Lyceum? I really have them in the right place. Luck of sevens. You let yourself into our office. Deliver the correspondence that the clerk requested. The sigils are prone to combustion. It would be far safer were they away from your engine. The clerk is silent for a long moment after you hand her the sigils. Then, thank you, sincerely, I wasn't certain you, anyone, could do it. She hauls several heavy clay tablets from beneath her desk and begins carving correspondent sigils into them with a knife. As she works, she gives you a partial explanation. The set of ta tablets bear the term of her service. Each sigil you brought her uh, has its place, expanding the scope of a phrase here or introducing contradictions there. This will grant me a period of freedom. If I return occasionally, the king might not even notice I'm gone. It will only last for a time. But, she grins fiercely, I intend to make the most of it. Oh. Okay, so we gained 5,000 experience and uh, one searing enigma. Let's ask where she, what she intends to do. Where does she intend to go? I've been stuck at the Forge of Souls for years. The high wilderness will have changed since I went exploring. Londoners could never let things lie, he smiles. I have a standing invitation to Langley Hall. I'll look for, mil for familiar faces there. Okay. I guess we're done. She's going to Langley Hall. I wonder if that means if we go there or something it makes a difference. But this does seem like... Perfect place for me to end the episode. We managed to achieve what we were doing. I'm not sure what we will be doing in the next episode, but I'm sure I will think of something. Uh, yeah. There's plenty. There's still plenty of things left for me to do. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know you think your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, we'll see you next time. <laughs>